we're off. Notice there, I didn't do the starting the sentence with and. I kind of remembered. Anyway, the Saturday wrap for Saturday the 31st of July 2021. And yes, I'm at home. Not that there won't be a Beano, there will. It's just a question of timing and the fact that Costa Coffee in Caffili doesn't open at 7 o'clock anymore. It's 8 o'clock. So if you haven't seen this before, this is me rabbiting on about nothing in particular over the last week. It tends to have a tech, huge tech bias. Although there's a bit of politics, there's a bit of news, there's a bit of everything thrown in there as well. Um, I try not to get too political. But if it is, it's political with a small p because, yeah, I'm a bit of a cynic. Anyway, I start off with the word or phrase of the week and the app of the week. So this week, the word or phrase... I had lots of them. Um, there was pandemic carried over from last week, which is still a thing. Although there's plenty of toilet paper around. Um, and then there was mental health. Um, Simone Biles and that guy Ben Stokes from the cricket. And then there was tennis player and such like. Um, no, I, I went tech, um, Mr. Zuckerberg metaverse yeah facebook evolving into a metaverse um sort of like um second life uh immersive tech uh oculus rift all that sort of thing um we shall see i think a lot of it will be down to the cost of the um entry to it um, whereas on your mobile phone you can just psh, psh, and everyone's got a mobile phone or everyone's got a laptop everyone's got a iPad or such like yeah putting a headset on might be slightly different anyway it's one to watch out for metaverse the next generation of social media we shall see anyway so what happened um, since last we met well Saturday afternoon, Tiny Rebels Bar in Newport, in the corner, next to the power, and the big green wall now. It was very much old school. Um, the iPad Mini, classic rock tracks, Twitter, uh, and um, if only the buses ran more regularly. Um, talking of that, buses and trains, uh, the current Transport for Wales rail timetable will run this way until September. I think they're suffering from the pandemic and their inability to do anything, to be perfectly honest. Um, they're nationalised now, you know. I saw that in the week. Wouldn't it be a good idea to nationalise Transport for Wales rail? From last February, they were nationalised. It's made no difference whatsoever. In fact, it's led to the ministers in charge of that becoming almost, well, they haven't said anything about it, and which is unusual for them because they were on all the time during the other lockdowns. Politics, eh? Anyway, um, last Sunday, eating Japanese onions grown from the garden really nice i think they're sensui um not too oniony um fresh don't store those so basically pick them cut them up and eat them i really like them and there was a deal on from dt brown 20 percent off onion sets so i've ordered some more and some more red onions and actually when the tomatoes come online, because there's lots of tomatoes in the garden at the moment, but they're all still green, it'll be tons of food out of the garden after coming home from work, which I really like. The problem is, of course, um, the year's disappearing. It is dark in the morning, especially this week where we had quite a lot of rain. It was headlights on, and on uh, tomorrow... August 
um, yeah, is it age? Is it the pandemic? Is it whatever? But the year is disappearing again. It's a shame. Anyway, um, I was hoping to be in the Hereford Beer House. I was this time last year, um, but they're still not open. And the same for the Pelican. Well, the Pelican is, um, but it opens at midday. I need to get my Beano act together. I really do. I'm thinking of Dea's Brewery. They have a tap room, and it's not too far north of where I normally go. And then there's Kinderminster. I have lots of plans. Yeah. Okay. So um, I think on Monday there was a leak that Amazon were looking for staff to run a blockchain or at least to take Bitcoin. And then the malaise in the crypto market disappeared and up they jolly well went. Not as good as they were, um, but they are still slowly going up. And it is quite pleasing especially with normal money rates for fiat currencies being, well, rubbish, absolutely rubbish. Um, I suppose that's a bit because everyone's printing money, a bit like cryptocurrency, um, but there you go. Anyway, um, happiness on the crypto front. And of course, Apple, there were updates all around, apart from TVOS, um, some zero days and some uh, tricky bugs. So the Mac, the iPads, the iPhone, the iPod, de -da, de -da, de -da. and uh, of course some betas for iOS and iPadOS 15. That keeps me going. The joy of... Um, updating all the time in fact this has been done on a windows laptop and there was an update this morning actually it was a preview he said with an itchy face um, which you shouldn't really do before you do record it's just in case it breaks everything but i did it anyway never mind um yeah the olympics not really that interested um bmx bike riding um on twitter a uh, a person said why is that? Shouldn't they have darts on? <laughs> Which made me laugh. Uh, of course, uh, the BBC have gone crazy about it, but they're not showing a lot of it. And a lot of it is on Discovery Plus, And there's all sorts of shenanigans going on. And then there's the issue of mental health. I don't know where I actually stand on this. There was Simone Biles and then in the cricket, Ben Stokes. Lo Ben Stokes pulled out before he was in a match. Where does Simone Biles pulled out after she started? I don't really know enough about it, so it's not for me to judge. But it is good that if you are having problems, you can come forward. I mean, if you break your leg, then everyone's sympathetic. But if you have a mental health episode, it's far more difficult. And it still has that stigma. So, yeah, I think... It's good to come out. It really is good to come out. And perhaps we should teach mental resiliency along with all the other sporting things because um, Mensano, Incorporate Sano, maybe. So, yeah, I'm positive about it. Yeah. <sighs> Talking about positive things and non positive things, driving into work this week, you can see, well, they put this sign back up at the Sainsbury service station in Pontypridd. £1.30 a litre. Well, I know the dollar, we slipped against the dollar a bit, but we're now back up. At the price is going up all the time. Now, that could mean a lack of supply. Or it could mean more people are requiring fuels. Or oh, it could mean, well, it can't mean the pound against the dollar. Because that's good again. Or it could just mean greed. I'm going with the latter. Ah, yeah. Um, the first lockdown, it was down to, I think, 98p a litre. And there's another strange thing. Miles per gallon, buy petrol in litres, uh, pints. <laughs> Uh, millimeters of rain. I like the confusion we have over units of measure. I think it's entirely British, which is a good thing. Anyway, here in Wales, this time next week, standing at the bar, 
Although I only like to stand at the bar to order. I'm not a stand at the bar or sit at the bar and drink person. I like being in the corner on my own, away from people. But especially in spoons, if you need anything changed, like ordering a full English, don't cook the tomato, um, can't do it on the app. Mind you, in the tumble yesterday, there was a new member of staff being instructed, and I was told that um, I wasn't too bad. I'm one of the better people in there. <laughs> um, and then the conversation got round to mystery shoppers. Um, turns out I'm not a mystery shopper, although I have been confused for one. And there was a lot of weather. Um, it was sunny, it was warm, it was grey, it hammered down, um, and I had less time out with the watering can, which um, I can live with. Anyway, today's weather forecast, a bit cloudy, yes it is, high of 21. Malcolm uphill, and then the, um, well, over to Tree Forest, and I can't think of the name of the pub, the breakfast pub, and then the Otley. I'm sure it'll come back to me later on. Anyway, thank you for watching. Uh, it'll be on YouTube, it'll be on MeWe, Twitter, and the Facebook. There you go. 24 frames per second, by the way.